Parliament seems to have ignored the urgency with which the gender rule impasse needs to be resolved. But this has not stopped women and international organs from seeking other avenues to ensure that the next government is legitimate and obedient to the one-third rule. UN Women has embarked on training aspiring female candidates and exposing them to the public using an internet database. However, the question remains, will it be enough? In a small village in Tesso South, we find a woman who is determined to change the political history of this constituency. <laughs> the women here look up to Mary Amase for being brave enough to take on the men in the upcoming general elections, where she intends to vie for the position of Member of Parliament for Tesso South. Since independence, the larger Tesso region has never voted in a female representative based on the mentality that women are best suited for other occupations. We need a change, and we need a positive change. And how are we going to measure this change? There has got to be progress. And we cannot measure progress if there is no action. With the nature of Kenyan politics being rough and often degenerating into personal attacks, many expect that if women can change the face of politics, they will be noticed. This is the tactic that Caroline Agwanda, an aspiring member of parliament for Kisumu County, is using. I believe in the people, and uh, it's the people who have the power to either tell me, Carol, you are capable, or Carol, you are not. What we encourage women is to say that you don't play the game in the same way that the men are playing it. You have other assets, you have other values, you have other uh, virtues. Use those. And like somebody said earlier on today, saying make it an issue-based campaign. Don't make it necessarily a financial campaign because it will be very difficult for women to mobilize. There is a stalemate in Parliament over how to ensure the one-third minimum gender rule is obeyed. But the debate on how to empower women is still going on at the grassroots. One of the major issues is to ensure that women know what they are up against by understanding the Kenyan political environment. And there are various tools and various avenues that are there for women to exercise their right. So they have to be knowledgeable, they have to understand w what, what it takes, know what positions they want to vibe for, what political parties exist, know who, to, uh, who their allies are, and work with that process. Another way is to ensure that the public knows about the female candidates who are vying in the next general elections. The UN Women has set up an internet database on www.womenaspirants.org that will let every Kenyan with access to internet assess information on female aspirants. According to architects of the website, there are 152 aspirants who have been posted on the database and most of them come from URP, ODM and TNA. This is out of the 51 already registered political parties. This could mean that most political parties have not submitted their candidates' information or that the parties have not made the arrangements to meet the one-third minimum for each gender stipulated in the Constitution. Another challenge is that many women are vying for the women representative seats and not aiming higher for seats such as members of parliament and senators where the critical mass of women is needed to ensure the next government is legitimate. Most of them are going for ward representation. And uh, we do realize that uh, the field of uh, count representation, women count representation, is going to be very, very crowded uh, with, the, with the ladies. So I would like them to be strategic in their approach. Women make up 52% of the country's population and only 9.8% of parliament. With half of the population being women, the solution to this stalemate may just lay in the hands of Kenyan women. No matter what the parliament decides, the challenge will be on women to prove that they have what it takes to face off and indeed beat the men to take over the seats in their constituencies, wards and counties. Catherine Omwando, KTN.